quick public service announcement. On the telemetry lead, voltage telemetry lead from Spectrum and how to use this properly. I did a recent video and I talked about making a balance lead. There's other people on YouTube have who have done this exact same thing and, and I've, I've used this. It works. I can get the telemetry I want with this system. Recently, a somebody commented on my channel uh, that they blew up their receiver, and there's a word of caution on that. So I started doing some digging. I asked Horizon. There's, I can't find any documentation, so I asked Horizon, went on to RC Groups, and, and got some information from Horizon there as well. The bottom line is this. The ideal way to use this lead is to solder it into the ESC, uh, black to black, red to red, and to solder it into that plug. That's the best way to do this. Hey, there's another way to attach those that Andy uh, from Horizon Hobby mentioned was poke a hole through it, through the uh, insulation, then stick that soldered lead into that and tape it off with electrical tape. And uh, it's a quick way to do it and now uh, shouldn't be an issue. Red to red, black to black, and you're good to go. If you decide you want to use a balance lead because you don't want to mess with resoldering your plugs, which is fine, you can do a balance lead, but only use the red wire. If you are powering, powering your receiver with an ESC and you've got you know, the ground and the power going from the ESC into here, like so, the red wire and the brown wire is power and ground then you're going to have a real problem and you could damage your, your receiver. So best thing to do, yank this one off and you're only going to have that red wire. Here's an example that I did in my T45. I just yanked out that black wire, still works as it always did. And according to Horizon, that is now a safe way to do it. So just wanted to throw that out there for everybody. One thing I just want to comment on, and that is there is no documentation on this. And so because some people are getting into trouble with this, it just makes sense that Horizon put together a brief document on how to do this. I think it would save a lot of people a lot of headache and it would enable some people to actually figure out to do this and take advantage of the amazing you know, telemetry that uh, some of the smart receivers have. So please, hey, Horizon, if you're listening, Write a little documentation for it. Thanks.